I'm here in the uh, stairwell of the Space Needle, talking with the two founders of Base to Space, a fundraiser for Fred Hutt. Hey guys, can you uh, introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Dave Mandipet. I'm the PR director for the Space Needle. Uh, this is my buddy Mark Granter from Fred Hutch. I got in charge from our uh, ownership and management group to create a charity event. Uh, a lot of people didn't even know that the Space Needle had stairs. But as you can see, we've got uh, actually two sets of stairs. So, so think of like a double helix. It goes all the way up. And what's different about these stairs is they're open air. First house, you got views and fresh air as you do it. Um, and the other thing is instead of doing 180s or switchbacks, it's 120 degrees all the way up. So I called my buddy Mark. We grew up uh, in the Mount Baker Sioux Park neighborhood together, played soccer and get together. But it was just a, a real true honor to be able to work with an old childhood buddy to do this climb. And in just three years, we've raised $1.7 million. That's a great yeah. series. Hey Mark, so tell me more about the Fred Hutch. How does this help? Well, we've been in the community since 1975. Okay. Um, I lead the community partner events program, Fred Hutch. Uh, when I got the call from Dave back in 2014, Said, hey, you want to be a beneficiary of the stair climb that we're planning to do? And of course, I didn't hesitate. I said, when are we going to ink the deal? Every dollar raised goes back to research at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. It totally helps our cause and helps our, our researchers and our scientists do what they need to do to find cures. I know we're excited as Dick's driving to be a part of the climb, but there's a, a lot of different teams. Like, can you give me some of the highlight teams people can join and, and what day we all need to come out here if we want to have this opportunity to climb the stairs? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things that we did that was different than a lot of other races and runs and things like that is we, we nicknamed Base to Space Seattle's most iconic climb. And we wanted to find brands in town that people have an affinity for, obviously Dick's, and create these waves. So we have the Dick's wave, we have a Pearl Jam wave, we have a Starbucks wave and also a Top Hot Donut wave. And we, we don't want just any business, we want businesses that people have love for and obviously they have love for Dick's and everything you guys do in the community. The climb is on September 30th, whether you're an elite level climber or someone that wants to walk and take 30 to 45 minutes to do it, all are welcome to do it. You go to base, the number two, spaceseattle.com to sign up. The Space Needle also is on the, the tail end of a $100 million renovation. Mm -hmm. So in addition to coming up the stairs, when you get up top, you're going to get to see the brand new observation deck that we built out with all the glass. We've added 20,000 square feet of glass. And we also now have the world's first and only revolving glass floor, which I know you got a chance to check out. What did you think? Oh man, for everybody out there, this is a must do. The climb's incredible. We'll see you September 30th. I hope you can make the Dick's Driving Wave and uh, get on that glass floor because it's pretty sweet. Cheers guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.